Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about concurrent signal assignment statements. So concurrent signal assignment statements are basically used as a part of data flow modeling. So these are primarily used in these are primarily used in data flow modeling data flow modeling so as i told you there are three different types of vhdl programming models available structural model data flow model and behavioral model process statement we have seen in the previous video uh, that process statement has been used in the uh, behavioral modeling but in the data flow modeling we have to use concurrent signal assignment statements and uh, one more important difference in between this concurrent uh, data flow modeling and behavioral modeling is in behavioral modeling we are using the statements called sequential statements we are using the statements called sequential statements all the statements are coming inside the process but whereas here in data flow modeling we are using completely concurrent signal assignment statements all these are concurrent statements which are uh, writing outside the process that means we don't have any process statement in the data flow modeling so we don't use process statement we don't use process statement in concurrent signal or in data flow modeling in data flow modeling <clears throat> okay now let us see how to write the concurrent signal assignment statement the syntax is syntax <clears throat> syntax for example for example you are writing some and operation you are writing some and operation between two variables a and b then simply you can write you can write in the architecture i will write like it see here in the architecture entity is common whatever the design style is whether it is a data flow behavioral or structural the entity part is common and architecture part is different so architecture data flow of architecture data flow of some or gate or underscore gate we should not give r alone as a name or r space gate that is not valid because r is a predetermined uh, keyword here so r gate is begin begin why is assigned with a or b why is assigned with a or b that means r operation is performed and the result will be stored in the y simply just end architecture name which is nothing but data flow so this is just in data flow we are writing the expressions uh, boolean expressions directly in the output okay but whereas in the behavioral modeling after the begin of the architecture we are writing process statement after the several statements we are going to get this output if the same argument if you want to write in the behavioral modeling then you have to write the argument root table what happens when a equal to 0 b equal to 0 then y equal to 0 a equal to 0 b equal to 1 y equal to 1 like that we need to write four different lines with the if else conditions and all those if else conditions should be placed in process statement okay that will be giving a big uh, huge number of lines so data flow modeling will give you a single line that decides just what is what okay that is what architectural modeling and coming to the basic differences between uh, uh, this concurrent statements and sequential statements okay let me write the differences differences between concurrent and sequential signal statements okay 
So differences between concurrent signal assignment and sequential signal assignments, sequential signal statements. In the concurrent signal assignments, concurrent signal assignment statements, assignment statements are written outside of outside of process statement outside of process statement so whatever the statements we are using inside the process like if else wait statement loop statement all such uh, such process uh, process related statements so will not come under this concurrent signal assignment statements okay in data flow model we don't use if else statement wait statement all such things okay uh, <coughs> but whereas the sequential signal assignments the sequential signal assignment statements are written are written inside the inside the process statement inside the process statement you have to remember this point very very important so process is there means that comes under behavioral if any process is not there then that comes under concurrent signal assignment statements so if you want more elaborately the differences you can write like uh, example differences with example so if you want to write our operation in data flow and in process statement that means in concurrent we can write in concurrent and in sequential in concurrent and in sequential so in concurrent first so in concurrent architecture i am writing architecture some concurrent model of some entity name like or gate is begin begin then you are writing directly y is equal to a or b operation and then end concurrent model coming to the sequential model in sequential signal assignments in sequential signal assignments architecture sequential model of architecture sequential model of R gate is begin begin process of sense to list what are the inputs we are having a comma b is process of a comma b is is an optional you can use it or you can ignore it process of something inputs again we need to begin the process begin and then if if a is equal to 1 if a is equal to 1 then a equal to 1 and and b is equal to 1 and you need to write and b is equal to 1 then what happens y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 else if ls if else if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 then y is equal to 1 
okay otherwise you can also simply write a is equal to 0 b equal to 0 otherwise you can write one more way simply you can write another way a equal to 0 b equal to 0 then y is equal to 0 and remaining all cases you will be having 1 so that is the easy way to write a equal to 0 b is equal to 0 then y equal to 0 else else simply y is equal to 1 see in the remaining all cases you will be having y equal to 1 except this case y equal to 0 uh, a equal to 0 b equal to 0 okay so y equal to 1 end if you need to end if first end process end process semicolon again and architecture name which is sequential model okay so here we need to we need to add the process statement and then if else conditions or any conditional statements any conditional statements depending upon the type of the code so that we need to write and then we are going to end all the statements which we have opened like if statement process statement and then architecture name okay so this much of difference is there when compared to the concurrent statement and sequential statement so which are coming under process statement all are sequential statements if you see in this example these are all sequential statements but whereas here only one concurrent statement is there only one concurrent statement is there very very simple programming language in a data flow okay then if else is there in the in the uh, sequential model then what about the conditional statements inside the data flow suppose if you want to write any conditional assignment which type of conditional assignments we have to use in the case of uh, data flow modeling if it is behavioral model we can use if else statement okay but whereas in the data flow model uh, we cannot use uh, if else statements but we can use two different uh, uh, conditional assignment statements that i will discuss in the next video okay thank you